Here, water-soluble dispersion adhesive is applied with a spray gun onto the fluorized PE part. Apart from an even adhesive coat, the flock also has to be applied evenly in the electrostatic field. Only this guarantees a good flocking. Depending on the geometry of the formed parts, it's additionally recommended to use auxiliary electrodes or a pneumatic support system. Smaller numbers of pieces can often be dried overnight at room temperature, but with larger quantities, it's more economical to use a conveyor drying oven or a static oven for the drying. Nowadays, flock has become an integrated part of the automotive industry. There, large series are always produced, which require specially made production machinery in this illustration. The side covers are firstly treated with floor and placed into the feed unit of the automatic line. A special pad system automatically applies the adhesive, immediately after which the flocking is carried out, usually also automatically. In order to achieve large quantity output, several flock units are placed one after each other. Such a big production requires automatic drying to follow the flocking operation. The cleaning can be done automatically with some types of parts. With complicated forms, however, it's best done manually, which at the same time allows visual quality control. Nowadays, flocked glove boxes and storage drawers are general standard for luxury cars as well as for middle-of-the-range vehicles. With smaller quantities, the adhesive coating and the flocking are done manually. This having the advantage that both flock color change as well as changing the forms may be carried out without a complicated setup process. Glove boxes and storage drawers are flocked in order to reduce noise. And with profiles and channels, the object is to improve the gliding characteristics and the airtight seal. Highest possible specification requirements are placed on the adhesive regarding the adherence to EPDM rubber and also on the flock regarding the fastness to light. Considering the large output quantities, here only a fully automatic production is possible. The adhesive coating is carried out very precisely in order to achieve an accurate edge flocking. The continuous flocking is carried out in two lines, or depending on the plant, in one line, whereby even complicated forms and back cuttings are flocked, sometimes partly electrostatically and sometimes with combined electrostatic pneumatic. After the flocking and the pre-clean, the hinged profile cut lengths run through a dryer with a very large capacity, so that even with a high production rate, a sufficiently long drying time is guaranteed. At the outlet of the dryer, the parts are cooled down, run through an automatic cleaning in a longitudinal direction, and then conveyed through another cooling track, where they're inspected and finally packed ready for shipment. Not only plastic parts are flocked, but also large steel parts, as you can see here, for seat fittings. These are supplied in special transport frames, and the parts are taken out individually and placed into an automatic conveying system. Once they've reached the adhesive coating installation, the doors close automatically and the spray robot applies the adhesive with several automatic spray guns with a sufficient coating thickness over the entire area to be flocked.
In the next cabin, the parts are automatically flocked in the same processing cycle. In order to guarantee a high flock pile and a good density of fibers, two groups each with three electrostatic pneumatic flock nozzles run along the entire length of the metal rods. You can clearly see the flock jumping between the nozzles with the high voltage electrodes and the metal rod to be flocked. After drying and automatic cleaning, the parts are removed, assembled and placed back into the transport frames. All parts are evenly flocked all around and because of the sufficient adhesive coat, very durable. Several trucks carry those big volume parts daily to their assembling plant in the car factory.